Hi, here we are, Unit 6, Test Review, 2000, I don't know what year it is, 19. Love to waste time at the beginning and then pretend that I'm running out of time at the end of every video. Uh, follow, these are, I copied these right off the AP Calculus curriculum, okay? So the step before this problem was a calculus problem, and now this you have to solve this for y, and they're each a little bit different. So the first one, the y is trapped in here in the ln. Oh, sorry, blurry. Here we go. Okay, uh, what cancels the ln, the natural log? E. Okay, watch how this works. You take e to the power of both sides, so all of this is in the power of the e. It's not multiplication. So the e and the ln cancel, and we get y minus 2 equals e to all of this, like that, in the exponent. And then the next step is to just solve for y. And how do we solve for y? Add 2 to both sides, so we get y equals e to this power plus 2. And then I got to fill in that power. How's that go? x to the 5 over 5 plus 2. And that's it. We solved for y. Okay? You can graph that if you want to look at that, but that's cool. All right, let's do uh, number 2. Maybe a little less explanation. Take the, I say take the e of both sides. I think we're raising both sides to the power of e, like that. And then get y by itself, so add the 1. So it's e to the power of negative 1 over x minus 2. And then the plus 1's on the end here, not in the exponent. All right, 3 and 4, we're going to solve for y, but y is in the exponent now with e. So first on step 3, what, do you, what should we do first? We've got to get y by itself, so we have to get rid of the 2, the e, and the 2. So what should we do first? Multiply both sides by 2, so that cancels the division by 2. And then we're going to distribute that 2 here. So we have 2x cubed plus 2. All right, now what's the inverse operation of e? The natural log, so we'll do the ln of both sides. So we have the ln. And remember, it never fits, so we're going to squeeze it in here to show our work, the ln of both sides. And then you go, what do you say? I forgot, what do you say? Haya karate chop. Anytime the ln is touching the e, they cancel. Haya karate chop. Now this becomes the ln, or the natural log of all of this. Parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. All of this has to be in parentheses, or it's wrong. Okay? So we take the ln of the entire side. What do we do to get y by itself? Divide by 2. Now, uh, you're going to divide both sides by 2, but I'm going to show you, we don't usually leave it like this. Okay, I'm going to show you how we write it. Uh, in upper level math, we write, where do I have room? y equals 1 half times the ln of 2x cubed plus Two. So we just write one half in front as a coefficient. And then you guys know that that could go up to the power and you could do a square root, but for, for this we're just going to leave it right in front. It's fine. Number four, um, a lot of students didn't know how to start number four. But number four is it's really just a cross multiply. Okay, so if you have this side on the right, this is over one. And then you have 1 over e to the y. You can switch these places. You can cross multiply. And we get 1 over negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 equals e to the y. Huh? What? How'd they do that? You want me to show you why? How? Yes, why? Okay, if you have 1 over a equals b, you could, how do you get a out of the denominator? 
multiply by a, and then do you agree we have 1 equals b times a? Yeah? Okay, how do you solve for a? Divide by b. So what did we end up with? We ended up, what did we start with? Let me show you. We started with this, and we ended up with this. Do you see that? So we're going to just, you could just switch. Switch. If you memorize it, you can just switch these. Isn't that faster than doing all this work every time? Over and over and over. Okay. We're going to use this in trig a lot, right? Triangle trigonometry. We'll use that. Okay. What do we do? With, uh, we have e to the y. How do we get the y out of the tower? Take the what? We take the natural log of both sides. Natural log. And the natural log's touching, so you say hi ya, karate chop. And we have y equals, you could say y equals, or you could say this equals y, either side is fine. And it's the natural log of all of this. 1 over negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1. Like that. Oh, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. All right, so that's that. Those are those four. Okay, this uh, this should be copied or looked at. What notes was this one? Six, five, I think. Okay, here's how we do it. A mini T chart. We're gonna have our X and our Y, and we pick negative one, zero, and one for the X's, and then I go backwards. So what is E to the power of one? That's memorized, right? Two point seven one eight. What's e to the 0? 1. And then e to the negative 1 means 1 over 2.718, which is like 1 third. 1 third. And let's plot these points. So negative 1, but then we're going to go up 1 third. 0, 1, 1, 2.7, like that. And we know it's exponential, so we know it's going to look like this and have an asymptote at zero on the x-axis. Uh, domain, domain is all real numbers are all x and the range are only the y's greater than zero not equal to. So now let's do the ln. Okay, the natural log is the inverse of e which means to find this table we're just going to switch the numbers, switch the x and y. So we have x and y. So the x, the first x value we'll have is 1 over 2.718, which is like 1 third. And that is switched with the negative 1. 1, 0, 2.718, 1. OK, let's graph this. So 1 third, this is like 1 third. So we go out to 1 third and then down 1. We're going to go to the right one, but stay on the x-axis. And then the third point will be 2.7 and then up 1. And you've had enough experience with this that you know it doesn't cross over into here. It doesn't go over here at all. It stays. Um, well, you guys know that the domain, the domain of an ln, the domain is going to be what? x is greater than 0. So do you see how your graph can't go in the negatives? It has to stay greater than 0 to the right. Domain, x is greater than 0, and the range, what's the range? All y. And do you remember, we did, we've done this a couple times now. Do you see how these switched? Yeah, check that. Okay, e and ln are inverse functions. Their graphs are reflections over the line, what? y equals x. All right, page two, figuring out if you know how to use a calculator. So anytime it says calc like that, you can use a scientific calculator. Um, what we do need to know are the properties. So the property here is this three. Where can this three, where does it need to be moved? Oh, I guess it doesn't need to move up there. Did you move it up to make it seven to the power of three? It's up to you. That's cool if you did, but I'm going to say it doesn't need to. How can you get the same answer? We should. Okay, watch. 
um, we could do three times log seven divided by log two. So you have to change it to change of base in order to put it into the calculator minus the ln of two. Okay, I can type that in one line in the calculator because I'm a highly skilled calculator later person. Okay, three times log of seven mm, divided by log two. I hope, I'm gonna have the answer key. Minus ln of two. Let's see, I got it right. Okay, that's the final answer, 7.7. .7. Uh, always three places after the decimal point, and that's just for all AP testing, round to three places. If you want to do it in pieces, the other way to do that would be to practice your skills by putting that up to the power of three, moving that power of three up there, and then, so this would be log of whatever seven cubed is, not whatever, we're supposed to know that because there was a quiz on that the first day of school, yeah? Seven cubed, 729, I'm gonna check it. Not even close, 343. Okay, anyways, that's the answer, let's move on. The function b of t equals 250e, you can read, gives the number of bacteria, got it in a culture dish t hours after the initial population is placed in the dish. After how many hours? Are you solving for bacteria or time? Time, so that's what we have to find time, has the initial population tripled? Okay, maybe you didn't know this, but the initial population was 250. Whatever number's in front there, that's the initial, because t if time were zero, the e would go away. So the initial population is 250, which means tripled. What does tripled mean? We have to multiply 250 times three. What's that? It's one of those days, people. 750, okay. So we wanna know when there's 750 bacteria and then something neat is gonna happen on the first step, okay? So what's the first step? Divide by 250 and then, well, what's 750 divided by 250? Three, so do you see how that, it's like, oh, okay, it tripled. So if you saw a, question, a question where it said it halved, half, then you, that would be a half or doubled, you'd see the number two. After this, how do you cancel or how do you undo the E? Ellen, natural log of both sides. Hiya, karate chop. So we have the natural log of three that's living in the calculator is equal to 0.0693 T. So to get T by itself, we just need to divide by this decimal, divide both sides. 0.0693. 0 0.0693, hiya, hiya. Okay, in the calculator, watch, I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you the wrong way. This is wrong. Why is that wrong? So what needs to happen after the ln of three? A parenthesis. So we have the ln of three, close that parenthesis, then divide 0 0.0693. What do we have there? So 15.85, yay! What does that even mean? Can you write that in a complete sentence? It took 15.852 hours for the, what are we talking about here? Bacteria to triple. All right, I'm gonna try and uh, finish this one. Is there a second question? Yeah. How many bacteria are there in the dish after 22 hours? What does that mean? How do you solve that? You just plug in 22 for time. 
and I'm out of time, so I'll have to check this answer later. Maybe I could pause. Nope. 